so welcome back to my second Halloween haul of 2021 I am so excited I've just filmed my um, TK Maxx haul um, from the things I got from TK Maxx the last two times I've been um, and now it's time to show you the home sense ones <sighs> I love home sense so much and every time I go I get way too much stuff so what I've done is I've kind of combined some of the items from the last two trips because the, the trip I went on today probably would be about a three hour haul <laughs> so I've combined that one with this one so that I'm just doing a bit of both so there'll be two of these um, home sense hauls coming up in well there'll be this one and another one very shortly so let's go straight in straight in with a pumpkin car um, I <laughs> found this in HomeSense two weeks ago. I have seen lots of pictures of them in a HomeSense store, so they're obviously kind of all around. Um, and it's just so cute. Oh, it's got one of my hair clips on it. It is just so adorable. Um, I walked into HomeSense with the hope, the prayer, that there would be just one pumpkin there for me. And I saw this and I was like, yes, this is mine. So I literally, you may be able to see it if you watch the vlog. I'm like filming a clip and I just see it. And I just grab it. I'm like, I need this. Um, Cause it is so cute. It's absolutely adorable. So as you can see, it is a pumpkin and car. Um, it's made of felt, but it's like, it's definitely like stuffed. But then the bottom is like a hard cardboard and like the sides are a hard cardboard but the rest of it um oh and the bit they're sitting on i thought a bit fell off then the bit they're sitting on is also a hard cardboard but the rest is like squishy um so it's it's felt and it's kind of been sewn around it almost almost looks like it's been like hand stitched i'm sure it hasn't but it, it has that effect definitely um, and it serves no other purpose than just being a pumpkin car. The little, um, the little tag on it says not a toy, it's seasonal decor. I literally bid you wrong, this is not seasonal decor at all. This is all year round, cute as can be, pumpkin decor. Um, so yes, it's a pumpkin car. First off, who knows where I can get one of these cars because it is adorable. And inside, at the driver's seat is the big, big ghost daddy. And he is on his way, somewhere important. He's very happy about it. And in the back seat are two baby ghosts and they're like loving life, having a great time, waving. The wind is in their sheets. <sighs> I just love it. Like who thought of this? Because it's just so cute. Um, the wheels are strong enough to like hold it up. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it needs to go somewhere where I can see it every day because this is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, where are they going? What are they doing? Why are they so happy? Like, it's cute. Um, it costs 9 99 which I was like, when I first saw 9 99 I was like, whoa, 10 pounds. But then I thought 10 pounds for all of this happiness, it's worth it. And I love it and it's so cute and I mean, I, I don't really know its function other than to look cute, but that's fine with me. So next up, I got this little guy. Definitely. Gnomes are in that store a lot. Um, we are just coming to the end of the um, year of the da -da -da vote. Um, and I put year of the gnome in there just because there are so many, so many gnomes this year as there were last year um, but the year of the gnome seems to have got the less the less the least votes unfortunately I'm sorry gnome <laughs> maybe one day um, but there's just so many gnomes but I have noticed I went to the range today and they also had gnomes in there and then there's Easter gnomes and Christmas gnomes obviously and just gnomes for everything so obviously gnomes are just in season and I collect garden gnomes especially now we've got our own garden I want more garden gnomes but um, yes, I got this. I originally was gonna glue it onto my bird table, but now I'm thinking of having it as an inside one because there are these like little holes on it, which I'll show you up close in a second. But it's some kind of crow. 
I would say it was a crow over a raven, but I may be wrong. I think it's a crow. And he's got this black and purple witch's hat. And then the gnome is sat um, a, 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 a stride it like this with his little bottom and he's got these cute little purple shoes on and I just love the fact that even though he doesn't have eyes he's facing this way and so his beard is swooping around and down to his toes like if I was a gnome or even if I had a big beard I would hope it would be white and I would swoop my beard down to the side while I was traveling in the wind I think it's so cute. I like these gnomes that don't have eyes. I don't know why. I think they're very hit and miss. People either like them or they don't. I personally do. Um, and he's holding on for dear life. He was a price. He was tricky because he didn't have a price tag on him when I picked him up. Hence so why I haven't memorized it. And it's not, what? I don't think I paid for this, no. 9.99 was the, the car, 3.99 was the mug, and 12.99 was the tray. Oh dear, I didn't pay for this gnome. Please don't tell the pumpkin gods that because I definitely did not steal this. I, I had given this to the lady because it didn't have a price tag on it. Obviously it was free. <laughs> anyway, that aside, crime aside, I believe he was around six pounds originally <laughs> before I got him for free. Um, but he is cute. I feel really bad now. I feel really guilty even though it wasn't my fault because she went off and got another one and then she scanned it and then they had a problem with my tray because my tray didn't have a barcode either. So they had to go off and they scanned that. So maybe it just cancelled it out. Oh dear. Here is my pilchard um, crow. Look at that. He is a crow of crime. But can you see he has two little holes here, which I think is meant to be like his nose. There's two holes here and then there's two holes here in the resin. So I don't think this would stand up well outside because if any water goes in there and then it freezes, which is hard to believe in this weather, but it freezes, it would just shatter. So I am gonna keep him inside. Oh my goodness, the guilt, the guilt, look at him. The crow of crime, he's staring right into my soul. He knows I have, I have pilchered him and I hadn't even realized. Oh my goodness, crow of crime, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll give the crow of crime a good a good home, I promise. So what the other thing I got on my crime-based trip was Oh hang on a second. I did pay for the crime. The crow? The crow. The crow I definitely did. I did because I paid on him separately. That's why. That is why, because I didn't have enough <laughs> I didn't have enough money on one of my cards, so I paid for him on the other card. Oh, I feel so much better now. It wasn't a crow of crime at all. He was just a crow of bankruptcy. Anyway, let's carry on with the haul. I feel so much better now, even though I didn't steal the crow. I got this big mug. It's cute, it's lovely. It's like the perfect size for like a massive hot chocolate. Um, it cost 3 99 and it is made in Portugal. I have noticed that a lot of stuff this year has been made in Portugal. And they have like this whole beautiful range in Home Sense um, of like beautiful decorated bowls that like you would buy on holiday in Portugal or Greece or they're just beautifully designed and painted. <laughs> they're just gorgeous. But obviously um, maybe to do with Brexit or COVID, a lot of things being made in Portugal at the moment. So this was the first mug I got. Well, second mug because I did get um, that other one somewhere. But this is the one I bought on this first trip and then I bought a matching one today which is the same sort of size but it has same kind of design but the cobwebs are witch's hats. But I just really liked it. Um, it looked nice and big. 
nice and roomy it's plain on the inside plain on the bottom on the bottom it just says microwave and dishwasher safe which i didn't notice but that's really good um i thought this could make a cracking hot chocolate or um a really big cup of tea the cobwebs on there are like really painted on there they're not like you can't feel them at all i feel like it is not a design that'll wash off you could probably like scratch it and it'd be fine um yeah just thought it was cute just very subtle definitely if you're looking for more subtle drinkware drinkware tableware drinkware cute and 3 dollars shine their mugs are always fantastic prices does it have like a no it just says 3 dollars shine i was just seeing if it had like an original price then i got i'm so glad i didn't steal that oh my goodness um i got this and this also caused issues because it had this um label on it that says primer or primer primer design or primer design made in new york and this doesn't have a barcode on it either so they had trouble finding the price but this was 12.99 and it is a a metal tin tray does it have the measurements on there probably not but i would say i mean that is big you see um if that's 30 i would say it's about 45 centimeters maybe maybe nearing 50 centimeters but it is beautiful i have a um a coffin tray that i got on etsy that was i was going to make a video about it but i had an absolutely horrible experience buying it um and i just never got around to showing you because i by the time i got it i just had lost all my love and excitement for it but this on the other hand is beautiful and it's got handles and it's the perfect size and i've been like doing a few things around the house i've just been carrying it around my tray which is one of the reasons i needed to film this so i could finally take the label off um but i just love the design there's so much going on they also had one exactly oh, i have to move back a bit <laughs> they also had one the same size but it was a big ouija board let me show you so we have a sand timer here then above the sand timer is a jar with a frog and some flies in there's some flowers in the background there's a moth here the only thing this is lacking is bats because it does have a moth um it has a candelabra then there is some kind of crow on a skull which has a spider and then that is on top of a raspberry plant a bit randomly um which is in a big plant pot and the raspberry plant actually has lots of like green and purples in it um there are only very muted colours, so there's a bit of green in the frog, green in the leaves. There's some yellow up here in the candelabra. Then, right down the bottom, there are these like two bones in a cross. We have a cod liver oil bottle here, and a death the microbes bottle down here, like potion type bottles. And then we have a massive cauldron going on here um, with some bubbling brew which is like a light green colour and a snake which is a purple colour steering it and there's a death head moth here some kind of flying beetle I think that's everything other than the like general florally stuff that's going on it is beautiful it's gorgeous I definitely have a few things of a similar Kind of style and design um and i did buy a um a couple of like little glass dishes from the same people with the same sort of designs which i'll show you in my next haul i got those today um i just like it it's different you know different but still spooky and the last thing in the treat i did actually oh, pick up today i just want to show you basically so i can open it <laughs> but funny story was um <laughs> I'm hoping maybe it was one of you ghouls, but there was someone walking around um, and I noticed them because they had a bat choker on and I saw them walking around and I just, you know, you just notice someone you think, oh, that's cool, bat choker, very nice, very nice. Um, and I went down the Halloween section, I picked up all my things, I'm going to show you my next haul. And then I went to the cushion and the blanket section and I was blown away because there were 
um, these coffin cushions. I've been looking at getting them. So I picked one up and then I saw across the way a ghost and a bat blanket, two different blankets, a ghost one and a bat one. So I ran over there and I picked up both these blankets and they were both nearly 20 quid. Right, something's gonna have to give because otherwise my bank account is literally going to scream at me. Um, so I put the cushion back, I put it on a shelf with some other cushions, but I thought I'd put it out of the front so that if there is another Halloween hunter around, they can have it because obviously it's quite sought after this cushion. I've seen a lot of people on the Facebook groups that are after it, so I thought, I'll put it there, then they can see it. Anyway, I was halfway through around the shop and I thought, actually, I'm gonna go put one of these blankets back. It's not fair for me to have two when they're pretty much the same and I'll get the cushion instead. Anyway, go over there, the cushion's gone. And I was like, oh, here we go. Here, there's another Halloween hunter because I put this cushion down like four minutes prior. Um, and then I happened to see this lady who had the back collar walking around and my cushion was in her in her trolley. And I was like, oh my goodness, that was the cushion that I wanted. Anyway, so I put the blanket back anyway and then luckily I found another one of these cushions stuffed at the back, which was really good. So we both got a cushion in the end. Um, and I didn't know if she'd seen the blanket because I did put the blanket back in a very obvious place as well. So hopefully she did see it. But I went upstairs because there's a bedding section and this I had a funny feeling would be in the bedding section instead of the blanket section. And I did eventually, this this lady was kind of following me throughout my excursion through HomeSense. We're obviously looking for the same things. And I thought, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room here that we are both walking around with trolleys like brimming with pumpkins. So I just said to her, there's a pumpkin, pumpkin blanket back down there in the corner, just so she knew because look at this. This was only 9.99. So compared to the other blankets in there, which are definitely, definitely close to 20, 9.99 is fantastic. I'm actually showing you the back of it. This is the front of it. And it says, well dressed home, oversized. That was the word I wanted. Decorative throw. And it is 60 inches by 70 inches. So now I've shown you it in its beautiful glory. I can actually rip it open and get inside. Now, I've got loads and loads of blankets from um, TK Maxx and Home Sets because they are just beautiful. They are so nice. Let me have a look. It's double layered, which is even better. Obviously, there's a big bit of card on the inside. But this is beautiful. Look at it. It's so covered in pumpkins. It's completely covering me. It is massive. It is definitely gonna cover a double bed easily. It probably would even cover a king size bed. But it is as soft as soft can be. Like, you know those blankets where you just, how do they make something so soft? It feels like you're touching a cloud. It's gorgeous. It's covered in cute pumpkin faces. Oh my goodness. It's definitely taller than I am. And I'm five foot four. I would say this is probably around six foot in height. Like, I cannot believe it. I am so pleased I found this. I hope the lady in the shop was able to get one. If it was her kind of a thing. I think it was. But look at it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. That is, again, one of my fit. <laughs> look how much there is one of my favorite finds from this year so as i said that blanket was in the kind of bedding section with the duvets and the cushion not cushions the pillows um and the bedding basically um so yeah those were the first kind of bits i would say half of what i bought but it definitely wasn't half I've already just showed you a third of all the things I've got so far in home sense this year. Um, so I'm now just gonna take a breather, get a drink, and then I'll make a video of the le next load of things <laughs> that I got. And then I think I may be caught up. I think. Uh, definitely not on editing, 
but on haul, like filming haul, so that'd be good. Um, I just wanted to quickly say a big thank you right now for 10,000 subscribers. Um, I have got a giveaway coming up, it will be Halloween based and spooky of course, um, but I'm just tying up the final little details um, and then I will make my um, 10,000 giveaway, 10,000 subscriber giveaway video as a massive thank you. So thank you so much for all your support. If you are not subscribed and you do like spooky things, hit subscribe. I always feel really awkward saying that, but just consider it maybe. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below. <laughs> so anyway, you are. I hope you enjoyed the shade, and I will see you next time for some spooky home sense things. Bye.